Welcome back to Mike's Man Cave and welcome back to another video. Now today we have picked up this very, very cheap TV. They call this an F Falcon. It claims to be 4K Ultra HD, HDR, YouTube, Netflix and Stan ready. Works with Alexa, Freeview. Not sure what Freeview is, but well, it's got it anyway. And it is a UHD smart TV. We picked this up for less than $400 at our local good guys electrical retailer. And we're going to put it up in my home gym. This is my home gym. Many of you have seen this before. If you haven't, well, check out my videos about it. And it's going to go up there. It's going to replace the old Sony TV that's up there. And that no longer works. It is about 20 years old, that TV. So I'm guessing it's time has been and gone. This was one of the very first Sony Bravia TVs. And it's not a digital TV, so it needs a set-top box to work these days. And we want the Netflix and the stand and all that sort of stuff down here at the gym. So we're going to hopefully put the new TV up today. And then maybe after we've put the TV up, we will do something about this gym. It just needs cleaning. It's covered in dead insects. I have been using it, but I have not spent any time cleaning it. And we will get round to that eventually. Hopefully that ladder will be tall enough, but yes. So let's unbox this TV and get stuck into it. Let's cut the box open and see what we've got in there. I'm guessing we have a TV and a remote control. Okay, there's your stand, which we won't be using. Seems quite sturdy. It is only just plastic. But, like I said, we won't be using that at all. We have a little bag. It's got some batteries in it. It's got the fittings for the stand, a remote control, and some sort of cable there. There's your remote. Quite slim line. There you go, that looks pretty good. There's the cable, not sure what that's all about. A pair of AAA batteries and the instruction book. Some packing material. And there's the actual TV. There's the front of the TV. Looks pretty good. And there's the back of the TV. Now hopefully our TV bracket that we've already got will fit on the back here somewhere. I'll try and work that out in a minute. Now here's our mounting bracket that I've taken off the other TV. And it does seem to line up just here, which would be absolutely perfect. So let's try that. Okay, they're the mounting bolts that did come with this bracket, so I'm going to use them since they just happened to fit. It's almost like these brackets were made the mount on the back of TVs. There you go, the TV's now up there. And here's the remote control, so let's see if it works. There you go, it's alive. The F Falcon TV. Welcome to the wizard for initial setup. So we'll go with English. Home, yep. 
Australia, yes. Privacy notice. So what happens if we disagree? I guess then we can't use the TV. Okay, agree. Wireless. Okay, it's found our network, that's a good start. Now it wants the password, I'm not going to show you the password, otherwise I'll have 100 people sitting outside my house using my Wi-Fi. Now the problem that we have found, and I anticipated that problem, I thought this might happen, is that there's not enough Wi-Fi service down here in the gym. The Wi-Fi doesn't reach and this is what happens, it doesn't connect. Look, overall, I'm happy with the TV. It does exactly what it's supposed to do and everything with it seems to be fine. It looks good up there and it should be something that will enhance my workouts and hopefully motivate me to get down to the gym more often because I can be in here watching Netflix, watching YouTube while I'm training. I do, I do like watching some Joe Rogan podcasts and stuff along those lines and I can now do that on my new TV. So next week I'm going to try and get my Wi-Fi issues sorted out. I'm going to go out and buy a Wi-Fi extender of some sort. I will be doing a video on that Wi-Fi extender to see if it does the job of getting some Wi-Fi down here so that my smart TV can work. So for now, what do I think of the F Falcon TV? I'm pretty happy with it. And I will likely do a full review on this TV and what I think of it once I get my Wi-Fi down here and get it to work. If you enjoyed this video at all and found it useful, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to smash the subscribe button, like the brand new TV, for more videos from Mike's Man Cave. Thanks for watching and bye for now.